Today, we will work on all seven chakras at the same time. It will be a little bit vigorous uh, yoga flow class today. But to brief what we did so far, the, um, we all know that this energy chakra, they are not visible to our physical eyes. But as this slide shows, it looks, to me, it looks like beautifully adorned with precious jewelry. And this is how our energy, energy body is right now, who have done all the seven classes together. And if we keep working on it, it will be like that most of the time. And whenever any external factors affect on our emotions, then it will also affect the hormonal glands and eventually it will affect on the physical organs. But now we know, identify and correct it. So if you have forgotten, Keep going through listening to all the series. We have shared the recordings. Be aware and take care of the energy body. So let's begin a brief little bit about each. Just one sentence briefing for each chakra would be, first was the root chakra. Root uh, is the root which supports any tree or the foundation of the temple. So that is the root chakra. That is how to have, it's the basic need. Then the Swadhisthana chakra, the sacral chakra, that is to feel what we feel about who we are. We should not be embarrassed or ashamed of who we are. And then the third chakra is very, very powerful. It is to manifest or to act. So whatever we have, the will to act comes from that Manipur chakra, solar chakra. The heart chakra is the love chakra. And we all know that what love comes from, it, the love comes from selfless love and compassion. So that is the four, uh, fourth chakra. The fifth chakra is the Vishuddha chakra. It means the clear. One more sentence for heart chakra. The Sanskrit name is Anahat, means unstruck. So our love uh, should flow freely. There should not be any blockage. So when other additions come in, emotional additions, guilt, self-centered uh, self attitude, etc. then the love flow gets obstruct. Then the Vishuddha chakra, the sixth chakra, throat chakra, means to speak, to communicate, whatever we manifest, we should be able to communicate in a proper way so that it reach to the other person or our manifestation has to be meaningful. So make our conversations count. That comes from the throat chakra. And then comes the Agya chakra, the chakra number six, third eye. It is also called the uh, eye of the wisdom. And so that means what we perceive, what we perceive information, and then how we assimilate and uh, egg, egg, again act through that, that the sixth and seventh chakra, then the, when this chakra happens in perfect way, then the seventh chakra is the out of the body, that energy hovers over the head. And uh, then we, um, it's the intuition that works to intuitions are perceived uh, metaphorically. They are not physical. So the sixth and seventh chakra works together. 
and then the full energy body flows in a channelized form in the straight line from bottom to up. And when all this energy is channel, once it's analyzed, it's not gonna stay like that forever. As I mentioned before, it, it will fluctuate upon the external situations and how we, how we feel, how we exist in that situation, how we feel, how we act through the situation, how we feel compassion and how we communicate and how we perceive and how we, how we know that what it is. So all this, this one word explanation of all the chakras. So let's begin today's yoga class with basic uh, warm up. We will do all the poses first and then we will end <coughs> with sun salutations and short meditation. Get settled on the yoga mat. Bring all the props nearby, whichever you think you will need. And we begin now. So we will begin standing. We will begin standing on the mat. Circle sweep, inhale, both hands up. And exhale, both hands down. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Single hand. Inhale and exhale, side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, release. Two more times. One more. Beautiful. Let's get on the, uh, come to the side edge of the mat. Circle sit, inhale, both hands up and exhale, fold from hip crease. Forward fold, half fold. Keeping the back straight, spine straight, elbow straight, knee straight. Gaze directly below on the floor. And as we get comfortable, slowly slide hands further down with each exhalation. And need soft circle sweep, inhale, come to extended mountain pose, exhale, release. We will do a flow here, mountain pose and chair pose. So sit back as if we have a stool uh, in the back and we are sitting on it. Bring hands at heart center. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. We can also keep the block in between the thighs to keep knees aligned properly and thighs active. Inhale, exhale, step. Inhale, exhale, two more.
and inhale, slowly rise up. Exhale, release the block. Inhale, both hands up again and exhale, fold. Knee soft, reach all the way down. Step back for downward facing dog. And we are going to pedal heel one at a time, bending other knee. Growing the roots in the heels one at a time. Pressing palms, base of the fingers firmly into the mat, growing the roots out of there as well. And now we stretch both heels at the same time. Feel free to bend knees if it is not possible to keep them straight. Deep inhale in and out. Try to press chest towards thighs. Inhale one more time and exhale, bring both knees on the mat. Toes flat. We come into tabletop position. We are going to do cat and cow stretch. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, slowly release one vertebrae at a time. And arch the back for cat pose. The head will come down last. Inhale from bottom up towards the head, extend each vertebrae. Keep flowing with the breath coordination. Remember to flow from bottom up towards the head. Bottom of the spine. One vertebrae at a time. And slowly come back to tabletop position, no arch in the back. Inhale, we will do spinal balances next. That will work on our core, that's the Manipur Chakra. With inhalation, we extend opposite limbs, hand and leg straight out. The neck is neutral and gaze is on the mat. Exhale, bring them back. Inhale, alternate. Keep alternating with the breath coordination. Inhale and extend. Exhale down. And then it's equal on both sides. Tuck toes of both feet and slowly sit back on the heels. That will stretch the toes and soles of the feet gently. Keep breathing. Lift up, hips a little bit, toes flat, and all the way down for child's pose. Feel free to widen the knees or keep them together, whichever is convenient. Feel free to use the block on their forehead if the forehead is not able to ground. Breathe into the back of the lungs. Press the belly in to exhale. So 
pressing into the palms. Lift the hips up, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Stay here for a few breaths. Deep breaths in and out and press the chest towards thighs. Look in between the palms, walk or step forward all the way to the front of the mat and circle sweep, slowly rise up. Inhale and exhale, hands at heart. Inhale again and exhale, fold halfway. Knee soft, pull, hands all the way down onto the mat and then we step back halfway halfway on the mat and rise up for warrior one both hands up back leg is straight and make both feet both soles of the feet well rooted. Grow upper body. Imagine as if the solar power, solar chakra is active. It's circling around there and spreading the energy all over the body. Both knees straight and exhale, fold. Feel free to use the blocks if hands are not reaching all the way down. And knees soft, slowly rise up for warrior one. Come to wide leg stance. <clears throat> Widen both. Feet comfortably wide apart as far as possible. Again, turn the toes of left leg to the left side. Bend the left knee, both hands out for warrior two, and gaze at left hand fingers. Remember that we created the space in the lower back. Stay high up. Don't let the spine get crunched. And each exhale, expand from inner thighs, releasing the stale, stagnant energy. On the exhalation, both hands down, both legs straight. Toes pointing to the corner of the mat. This time, both hands at the hips. Inhale and make the front torso bigger. And exhale, hinging from the hips, hold forward. Straight leg. Reach all the way down, wherever the hands can reach on the legs or mat in the center. The spine is straight. Keep breathing. Hands at hips again. And both hands in the back of the hips. Interlace fingers. Turn the shoulders out and raise both hands up towards the sky. And let the neck go loose. And slowly bring hands back on the back of the hips. Release the band, band and 
slowly, knees up, slowly rise up to wide leg stance. This time turn, right foot toes out to the right side, hands out to the side, bend, knee, right knee, and gaze softly at right hand side fingers. Keep breathing. And slowly bring hands down, turn all the way onto the right side. Bring both feet slightly closer for warrior one position. Right leg in the front, bend right knee, back knee straight, circle sleep, inhale both hands up. Keep gazing straight ahead. Keep breathing and think of being well rooted. I know what to feel. I know how to manifest. And my will is strong and I have whatever energy it is required to communicate. Deep breath in, and while exhaling, both hands down, reach all the way down onto the mat, both legs in the front. Knees soft and circles, deep. inhale, both hands up. And exhale. And the heart. Inhale again. And exhale, fold. We are going into kneeling pose. We are going to practice that beautiful pose we did for throat chakra. That was the highlight of the whole, um, whole chakra series for me was lion pose. And I, I remember everyone had beautiful experience doing that pose. So we are going to do that. And then we will incorporate that in the sun salutation as well. So let's do that. <clears throat> this time when we do, we will come into table top position. Let's do one uh, breath flow, inhale. And exhale and raise the neck. So from bottom of the spine up towards the head, release, extend each vertebrae, come into cow pose. Stay here. And then when we exhale next time, we are gonna do that lion pose. So we look up with both eyes. Stick out the tongue, and at the same time, we roar like lion. So let's stay here. Inhale. <laughs> Slowly bring everything to relax. Relax the spine. Into the child's pose. Lift the hips up and come all the way down on the mat, on the belly. Both hands in the center of the mat, both palms are stacking one on the other and rest the forehead on it. Rest of the body relaxes completely. 
on the pressure. The next pose that we are going to do for back bend is the swings pose. So inhale, raise the upper uh, body up to the chest level up. And bring both elbows by the heart center. Gaze straight ahead. Keep breathing. And while doing this, if, if we are feeling crunch in the lower back, feel free to separate the legs. That will release that tightness. Relax the pelvis, relax the glutes. And slowly down. Again, constructive rest pose. Next, we are going to lift into cobra pose. So inhale, bring both hands by the side of the chest, slightly lower than the chest level. Elbows pointing to the sky. Deep inhale in and rise up for cobra. Relax the glutes. Gaze either straight ahead or if it is okay on the mat, feel free to gaze up. Keep the elbows soft. And slowly feel down one vertebrae at a time for a constructive rest pose. The next pose in the back bend series we will do is locust pose, Shalubhasana. For that, bring both hands by the side of the hips. And when we inhale next, lift the torso, hands and legs off the floor, the lower belly, and thighs will stay in touch of the mat. So deep inhaling and rise up. And keep breathing. And slowly bring everything down. Coming back into constructive rest pose. Hands at the side of the chest, pressing on the palms, pull back into child's pose one more time. Pressing into the palms, lift off. We do the hair pose. So for that, we bring the top of the head all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, prepare, and exhale, rounding the back, bring the top of the head all the way down. Both forearms can rest.
keeping forearms just like this, press into the palms. This may be not available to each and every body today, but let's try whoever can do this. Tuck both uh, toes of both feet, pressing into the palms, release onto downward facing dog and then bring elbows back down on the mat. This is called dolphin pose. Keep breathing. And slowly bring knees back on the mat and rise up into the kneeling pose. Vajrasana. One deep breath here. Halfway through, lightly close eyes and let's reflect on the class up until now. How I feel. As a soul, how are my emotions? And how is my body doing? Take the mental note of each and every point. and slowly open eyes. Next, we are gonna do the sun salutation <coughs> series. We will do seven sun salutations, but we will, uh, every, every set will consist different poses related to each chakra. Whoever are doing yoga class regularly with me, Feel free to use the chair as a prop, as we have learned in the classes. So the poses can be easier to do and um, it can be more meaningful. <clears throat> so let's stand up as sun salutation series is standing or standing poses mainly. But as we, this will be a vinyasa flow. So we will flow into, uh, from one pose to the other pose with a flow in between uh, smooth movements. It will not be choppy like stand up, stand down, sit down on the mat like that. So it will be all good, smooth flow. So let's stand in the, at the short end of the mat. First, we will do the root chakra. So stand with engaging all four corners of the mat. Can you all hear me well? Yes? Okay. So we engage all four corners of the soles of the feet on the mat, engaging each ankles, knees, thighs, hips, the lower back, spine, shoulders, the whole body is aligned well rooted and standing tall. Circles with inhale, both hands out. And exhale, fold forward. Step back into low lunge, Anjali Asana. 
Feel free to keep, to bring the knee on the mat if it is the requirement. Gazing on the floor. Step back for downward facing dog. Step forward, right leg. Anjaneyasana. Step forward, both legs. And circle seat, rise up. Exhale, hands at heart. Chakra number two. Inhale, both hands up in the prayer pose and join together. Exhale, forward fold. Step back, right leg. Anjaneyasana. We are going to do some variety here. So we stay here. Feel free to bring the back knee on the mat. Now the left hand outside of the left foot, let us bring that hand inside. This is the first step. Doing so, we are pointing the location of the root chakra number two, pressing it down, activating the energy over there. Slowly, this is, we do only if it is possible, bring all, both elbows on the mat. And gaze on the floor. Keep breathing. <clears throat> Rise up back on the palms. Lift the back knee up, both feet back for downward facing dog. One full breath here. Both knees on the mat, tabletop position. We're gonna do one of each cat and cow flow. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, release each vertebrae. And inhale, extend. Come back to neutral back. Get all the way down for cobra pose. So first we go into constructive rest pose. Inhale and prepare. Both hands on the side of the chest. Feel free to separate the legs if you need to. And with inhalation, rise up for cold. Relax the glutes. From here, pull back. Hips. Pull that right leg all the way to the front. We are going to do the Anjali Asana series variations in on the right side now. So if you have the back knee lifted up first time, feel free to do so. Both hands inside of the right foot, back knee down, forearms down. Up toes of the back foot, pressing into the palms. Come back to downward facing dog again. And step forward, right leg and left leg. Come to forward fold. And knee soft, circle seat, slowly rise up. Both hands up into prayer pose. And exhale, hands at heart. Beautiful. Inhale again. Next is the 
Manipur Chakra, the Solar Chakra, hands at heart again. We will keep the palms, finger, uh, uh, fingers interlaced with each other, both palms. When we are into that mountain pose. So inhale, interlace fingers. And side bend to the left side. Inhale, come back to center. Release the in fingers and fold forward. Step back halfway for warrior one. Again, interlace both hand fingers and gaze straight ahead. Bringing the torso to the side, turning hips to the side, coming into warrior two. From here, resting left elbow on left thigh, swing the back hand from bottom up towards the front or side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Coming to, turning to the front again, both hands on the mat, legs back. We are gonna do plank pose. If this is not available, feel free to bring both knees on the mat. We're gonna stay here for three breaths. This will build the core strength. Pull the hips back up towards the sky for downward facing dog. And step forward with right leg. Halfway. Inhale, both hands up. Fingers interlace. For warrior one on the other side. Turning the hips to the side, widening the legs for warrior two. Side angle pose. Warrior two. Turning to the front again. Forward fold. And inhale, circle sweep, both hands up. Exhale, hands apart. We forgot the one step. Interlace finger, side bend to the right this time. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release. Beautiful. We come to the chakra number four, heart chakra, anahat chakra. For that, hands at heart, begin here for one full breath, taking the mental energy to the heart chakra. Deep breath in. Inhale, both hands up. And exhale, fold. Knee soft, step back right leg. Both uh, back knee on the mat. And we Take both hands up, take the palms behind the head, interlace fingers, 
with inhalation, open the heart and look up, maybe on the ceiling. Both elbows pointing out to the side, deep breath in and out. Release the hands, both hands on the mat, and step back for downward facing dog. From here, we are going to do Anahat pose. For that, bring both knees on the mat, keeping the knees and hip alignment. Bring elbows down and try to bring heart center close to the earth as much as possible. So bringing, to do that, try to bring the chin close to the mat as much as possible. Deep inhales. into the top of the lung. And slowly get all the way down for sprints pose. Breathe, pull both elbows close to the chest. Gaze straight ahead. Relax the rest of the body. Glutes relax. And let the belly sink into the mat. Bring the forehead down. Hands by the side. Tuck toes, pressing into palms, lift into downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Step forward, right leg. Back knee on the mat, toes flat. Lift up, interlace. We're gonna do raise both hands up, interlace fingers, bring palms in the back of the head with inhalation. Make the front torso larger. As we get comfortable, try to ease into this pose and bring the gaze towards the ceiling. Release the palms, both legs to the front, forward fold. Knee soft, circle sweep, slow rise up. Exhale, hand the heart. How are we doing? Getting there? Cool. The next chakra is Vishuddha chakra, throat chakra. So for that, we are gonna do interlace the fingers, but then turn the palms upward towards the sky. Okay. The element of fifth chakra is space. The up in Sanskrit it is called Akash Tattva. So, standing the prayer pose, deep inhale in and out. Next inhale, raise both hands up, interlace fingers, and open both palms towards the space and earth. If it is okay on the neck, 
turn the bend the neck backward open up the heart chakra i mean sorry throat chakra keep breathing release the fingers circle c slowly fold forward step back right leg low lunge back knee on the mat rise up circle c both hands up we are going to repeat that position inhale sinking at this point all the chakras we are rooted firmly into that front foot we are pointing the energy of sacral chakra manipur chakra heart chakra and now the throat chakra slowly release both hands on the mat now it's time to roar like a lion announce the victory to the world coming on to all four table top position inhale and exhale slowly we uh, extend one vertebra at a time coming into first the power pose And now inhale and while exhaling, roar like a lion. <laughs> Slowly close eyes, mouth. Coming back to take table top back. Maybe we can fall down into child's pose. One deep breath here. Coming back into tabletop first and then that low lunge on the other side. So right foot in the front. Back toes are straight. Circle sweep, both hands up. Interlace fingers, open palms to the sky, and deep on the lunge. Slowly bring the hips to the neutral position first. Circle see both palms on the mat, both legs in the front, forward fold. Bring a deep forward fold. We can stay here for a few breaths here. Knees soft. And circle sweep, slowly rise up, interlace fingers again, point, turn both palms up towards the sky, gaze at the sky. And slowly bring hands at heart. One more breath here. I feel like I have accomplished and announced the purpose of my being. I'm fully capable of expressing myself. and release both hands to the side. Beautiful. Next, we have reached to chakra number 
six agya chakra the wisdom eye of the wisdom so again we stand in the front of the mat short end of the mat the hand gesture mudra we are going to do is the stipple finger so interlace all the fingers and point the in join the index fingers and point those two fingers straight up so standing again well rooted hands at heart and deep inhale now before we go into that mountain pose this is slightly different we're going to channelize all the chakras imagine these discs are in the on the way of the spinal cord from bottom up so someone is running the finger from root up to the sixth chakra each chakra we think of and slowly 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 create that back bend hands at heart and inhale creating making awareness of each chakra stipple finger raise both hands up pointing the forehead out to the universe to perceive the information the higher information the higher source is giving me the information to grow into spirituality and release hands circle sweep slowly fold forward this time feel free to soften the knees and come into deeper forward fold step back right leg again we go into that no lunge position rise up circle sweep inhale stipple finger again sink into this no lunge position pointing the agya chakra to the universe and to the source of the ultimate truth gazing straight up beyond the physical boundaries finding that ultimate supreme source of information and receiving from that source slowly release both hands both palms on the mat step back with both legs so now we are going to do that puppy pose, anaha pose, but this time we are going to rest the forehead on the mat. So for that, keeping the alignment, our finger here, slowly go all the way down, forearms on the mat, and forehead on the mat. If forehead is not reaching all the way, use the block. And slowly rise up into downward facing dog. Step forward, right leg. Again, low lunge, reach as high as possible into the universe into the ether into the space and find the source of knowledge stipple finger pointing to that one 
and receiving from that one directly onto my fingers and into my being. Triple finger is my antenna. And slowly come back to the straight posture, both hands on the mat, both legs to the front, forward fold. Soft knees, cycle knees, slowly rise up. Stipple finger and exhale, hands at heart. Before we go for the last chakra, we can stand in our own silence and reminisce the energy, feel the energy. Throughout the sun salutation, do I feel light? Do I feel more energetic or labored? Do I feel mentally uplifted? These are just the checkpoints. Result, the answer could be anything. So come to the short end of the mat one more time for the Sahasra Chakra. For this, the energy is liberated and the soul, the spirit residing in this temple is feeling acceleration, the liberty, the freedom. So the action of freedom naturally, even when we go on vacation and we feel so good, we are like, ah, so that will be the aha moment gesture for our this sun salutation. Keep both feet well rooted, hands at heart, deep inhale in, and exhale. Raise both hands up again from bottom of the spine, one vertebrae at a time, keeping the awareness, create the back bend. Raise both hands up, release both hands out, gazing at the universe to the space. And slowly bring the spine to neutral. Circle sweep, exhale, forward fold. This time we do the half fold and keeping the head upward, like facing the forehead to the wall or the space in the front. And slowly bring both hands on the mat and step back right leg. We're gonna do high lunge this time. So separate both legs wider. The, take the wider stance for better balance and rise up. Straight torso first. Sit properly into the lunge first. And then inhale, raise both hands up for that acceleration, the release and the freedom gesture. My spiritual energy body is not blocked anymore. And I can be, feel, act with compassion, communicate. And I know what to do. And then finally, I release. And slowly bring hands down all the way into the mat. We go into downward facing dog again. Keep breathing. Two more breaths here.
then from here we're gonna do that hair pose so bring both knees on the mat bring forearms on the mat and bring top of the head on the mat feel free to use the top Breath should go on. From here, we're gonna lift into dolphin pose. So first we'll press onto the palm, coming into downward facing dog, bring forearms on the mat again, and then the top of the head. Bring both knees on the mat, coming into prone position for locust pose. Press the forehead on the mat. And with the next inhalation, we're going to lift the chest, shoulders, chest, forehead, hands, and lower legs off the mat. Inhale and lift. Stay in the pose, keep breathing. And slowly come back into constructive rest for one breath. Both hands on the side, pressing into palms, touch toes. We come into downward facing dog. And from here, step forward, right leg. We do that high lunge exhalation on the other side. Inhale. And slowly sink into the pose. Well rooted, but still reaching high. And slowly bring hands down all the way on the mat. Step forward with left leg into the half pose. Gazing straight ahead on the space in the front. And circle sweep, slowly rise up. One final time, that exhalation, the aha. And close both palms, taking in all the energy, keeping it contained as if we are bringing back the exhilarated energy bringing it back, penalizing in the right way into the body. Stay in this pose for a few breaths. And just feel
and slowly release both hands. We come to any easy seated pose. Reminisce all past seven weeks memory. How I was before I started this journey. Looking back, back each week. The relaxation usually we do in Savasana. So I think it is, we are going a little bit over time, but it was all well worth it because this was all longer yoga pose series. So the relaxation we will do in the easy seated position. Keep the spine straight. If you are sitting on the chair or on the mat, checkpoint whichever portion of my body is touching to the ground, the earth. My roots are well grown. my sensuality and sense of pleasure, the definition of this has changed. I'm into more in the spiritual sensuality. I know the healthy touch in healthy emotions. And I'm not ashamed to be who I am. The power of will to act. I imagine a disc circling horizontally into the center of my body and spreading the energy in all direction into the whole body. From the center up towards the head, up to the fingers and up to the toes. I stand tall and I can be and act. While finding my true purpose, I'm still being compassionate. And be open hearted to accept each and everyone how they are. I can communicate the core of my purpose 
they can communicate in a better way so that I am being heard. I know who is the highest source of knowledge and wisdom. I am connected to that source. I'm connected to that one and only one. And that one is available for me, just for me, whenever I need. And knowing all this, now I have my way to thrive and manifest. We will chant Om three times. We're going to do a special mudra for today. That is the shell mudra, the conch shell mudra. In, the, in Sanskrit, it's called Shankha mudra. So point all the fingers to the front, raise the thumbs up. With the right hand, four fingers of right hand, wrap all the four fingers on left thumb, and then turn the left hand fingers up towards the sky. Raise the right thumb up towards the sky and join the pads of the thumb and the big finger of left hand lightly. Rest of the fingers in the left hand just simply be on the side supporting this mudra. And slowly bring this at the heart center. And we're gonna chant Om three times and then Shanti. Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Thank you for being with me on this journey. Thank you from bottom of my heart. I hope you all have enjoyed this and you all have grown spiritually higher. One more thing I would like to say at this point is uh, the Brahma Kumaris Anubhuti Meditation and Retreat Center solely runs on the donations. If you like the series and you are benefited, and if you want more like this coming to you all the time, feel free to send the donations. 
I'm going to um, share this um, link in the chat. You uh, can click on it and it will take you to the donation page, which you can finish as we end the class later on. So thank you very much. We will continue this after, uh, if we have more requests, popularity of this, and if you guys want more, we can continue later on. All of you have a wonderful time. Namaste.